for Peyton Manning inducted into the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He had a great career, five-time MVP. You can't like uh, snooze at that. There's <clears throat> a lot of MVPs. A motherfucking uh, <clears throat> four Super Bowl appearances. Two Super Bowl wins. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, that motherfucker was, he was, he was like a um, like computer. Like he always knew it, like the best quarterback from like before the snap in NFL history. That dude was amazing. Like, you know, you, you gotta salute salute him, man. He's he bowed Tom Brady in a lot of big games. You know, he lost to him and then he was six eleven. He was six and eleven against Tom Brady though. <clears throat> Beat him twice in the playoffs. He actually came from twenty one zero down in that AFC championship game in 06, the 06 season. <clears throat> you know, so basically January two thousand seven. Um <clears throat> so like um, yeah, for real, like, he's a, he's a bad man. I used to always face him. In, I, was, I used to always want to face him in video games. Like, I, I was always a team in, like, me facing, uh, you know, the Colts. Uh, Marvin Harrison, Reggie Wayne, two great receivers on the outside. He had Adrian James, Hall of Fame running back. Then And then he had Joseph Adai, who was a good running back. At Jeff Saturday, Hall of Fame center. Dallas Clark, Hall of Very Good. Yeah, Brennan Stokely, 1,000-yard slot guy. Then he wanted them to draft uh, Anthony Gonzalez, sl slot receiver from Ohio State. I remember when he came out, you know, he wanted him to run all his routes like uh, Brennan Stokely. I, I remember when uh, they drafted Anthony Gonzalez. <clears throat> he was like, I want you to run all, all, all the routes like Brennan Stokely. Yeah, I, I used to follow. I follow. I follow. You know, I'm, 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 you know, you know, I'm a sports whiz. So <clears throat> I followed even back then. Then on defense, he had the best pass rush tandem in NFL history on his side. You know, Dwight Freeney and Robert Mathis, both of those dudes can beat you running around you, and uh, with the bull rush and with the uh, spin move, they were like great against the freaking pass. They were lighting the ass though. You could run on them. But man, you gotta get rid of the ball. Even in video games. It was like that. <laughs> crazy. That's fucking crazy though, man. Hey, he's a bad man. And then he got blown out in the Super Bowl against the um against the fucking Seahawks. That Legion of Boom. Speedy. They just didn't match up well, man. They got blown the fuck out. Ball snap, but when the ball got snapped, Robert Payton Manning said, "Like, oh, this is a wrap for these." I was going for the Broncos too, and then he lost another Super Bowl to the Saints early on. The pick six, Terry Porter taking it to the house, to the, his house. And when Drew Brees beat him, Payton Manning five MVPs though. Then the one Super Bowl he won, he beat the Bears. Rex Grossman, horrible. And then in, in those playoffs, Peyton Manning didn't have a good playoffs. Then playoffs, he had like a seven touchdowns. He had like he had more interceptions than touchdowns in, in, in those playoffs. Like he he really really didn't play all that good. I mean I don't know if the defense is just was ready for his ass, but that they was on him. But hey man, Peyton Manning won. He got two rings. Same amount as his brother Eli, even though he should have won more than Eli. But that just shows you that you can't just be going off of just, uh, you know, sewer balls, man, because it's all about eyeball, eyeball test wise. So, eyeball test, Bay Man was way better than Eli Manning. Eli led the league in interceptions three times, missed the playoffs a bunch of times. Madly overrated. But that's a story for another day. Talking about Peyton Manning, Peyton motherfucking Manning. He 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 do he doing it pretty fucking good, man. Like man, he made the Hall of Fame, so I'll salute him. Tom Brady stopped him from winning way more rings. And the Chargers and the uh, page and the Steelers, he couldn't beat them three four teams. He struggled against three four teams. 
You know, Chargers beat them what back to back years in the playoffs. Once in India, another in San Diego. Um, yeah, so I mean, he 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 struggled. He struggled, y'all. But at the end of the day, I got him fourth on my all-time quarterback list. That's just me. Number four, he just makes Mount Rushmore. Tom Brady, number one. Joe Montana, number two. What? You a 49er fan? And you think Tom Brady better than Joe Montana? Yeah, motherfucker. I'm, I'm an objective observer. I don't play that bias shit. Call it how I see it. I'm authentic. I have an authentication certificate and an authenticity. You know what I'm saying? I, I, I got an objective award. Objectivity. I call it how I see it. I don't care about that four no stuff. And we got seven. Seven's more than four, right? I, th I think it is. I think. I think so. So, shout out to the motherfucking, uh, well, yeah, Tom Brady number one, Montana two, Elway number three, and Peyton number four. That's my list. Peyton, you deserve this, man. I always want I always want to challenge a face new in video games. It's always a challenge and stuff, man. See, was so, he was so hard to stop. <clears throat> He just tore up every, almost every defense, man. So smart for the snap, throwing accurately, getting rid of the ball. And I remember when Peyton Manning used to be scared to get hit, he used to just fall. Me and one of my brothers, they used to drive us crazy. It's like, just get hit. Just get hit. But, hey, you a bad motherfucker though. Number four, I had to punish you because you're two and two in Super Bowls, and one of them, you know, you beat Rex Grossman. Horrible. I'm like, Rex Grossman? Another one, you got blown out. Yeah, well, you got blown out with the Seahawks, with, with the Broncos against the Seahawks. And the one you won with the Broncos, you got carried by that defense. And another one, you threw a pick six to lose the game. Another one, you didn't really play great against the Bears. The Bears were missing two of their defensive starters. Tommy Harris, who's a pro bowler, and then Mike Brown, safety. I remember that. They were injured. Two guys. Paid, uh, Tommy Harris could have been like a, a Warren Sapp down there. Not quite as good, but he was impactful, man. He's a pro bowl D tackle. He was like original Aaron Donald. Just didn't do it for as long. But when he was great, he was Aaron Donald-ish. Tommy Harris, man. So he could have been collapsing the pocket. Mike Brown was a Pro Bowl safety. You know, but I'm just saying, I'm just calling it how I see it, y'all. Like, you know, I bring the facts. That's all I do around this motherfucker. But, uh, yeah, so he benefited from that. So, always, always, Super Bowls kind of have a little asterisk by him. But five time MVP. He had two receivers who could do it all. Reggie Wayne, Marvin Harrison, run inside, run middle routes, run deep routes. They're underrated deep threats. Great hands, man. Both of these guys. Both of them dudes. Both of them cats, man. They can fucking play. Take them up like play. But I'm just saying, y'all, man. I'm just giving them credit. Number four, you made number four. That's hard to do, man, because a, a, a lot of great quarterbacks. So you're Mount Rushmore. Yeah. I mean, five, you can't argue with five MVPs. All these records, touchdown records and shit. Jeez, jeez Louise, you a bad man, Peyton. I wish you would have picked the 49ers. I wish you would have picked the 49ers, though, Peyton. Remember that? You thought I wasn't going to bring it up, huh? Yeah, when you were a free agent, you had a chance to go to the Broncos, Titans, and the Niners. But you didn't want to play your little sister, Eli Manning. That's why you didn't come join the Niners. We would have had a stacked fucking roster. Because we just lost the NFC title game 2011 season to the to, to your to your sister, uh, I mean, your brother, uh, Eli Manning, you know? So you would have joined us. You would have joined us. We would have won. We would have won in 2012. We would have beat the Ravens, man. Fool with him throwing a Vernon Davis, Michael Crabtree, Randy Moss, 
you know, uh, faking handoffs to Tay again. Um, nah, but, oh yeah, but also hand, handing the ball to Frank Gore and Kendall Hunter, that dominant run game with Joe Staley, Jonathan Goodwin, Alex Boone, Mikey Potty, Anthony Davis. Woo! Can you imagine, y'all? Can you a motherfucking imagine? Peyton, you could have won. We won in 2012, 2013. We're going back to back. We got Alex Smith and motherfucking Kaepernick fucking up games. Or, or Kaepernick fucked up against the Ravens, man. He played horrible. 2013 against the Seahawks. Forced it to uh, Crabtree. <sighs> yeah, man. Peyton, you would have did that. You would have fucking helped us. We had everything, man. You, you don't want to fucking face Eli Manning, man. It's your damn brother, man. You man the fuck up. That's what I'm pissed off about still. I, can't, I, I ain't going to lie. Pissed. Could have been two more Super Bowls for our fucking franchise. We're loaded. Oh. Can you mother bleeping believe it? I had to bring that up. Yeah, Peyton. That that never gets recognized or brought up. But I'm going to do it. Because I'm the 49er king around this mother. Can you believe it? Damn, man, he could have won us some Super Bowls. He probably could have won in 2014, too. I mean, Peyton Manning coming to that Niner team would have been like how Durant went to the Warriors. It's a wrap. When Rodman went to the Bulls. Deion Sanders went to the 49ers. Deion Sanders went to the Cowboys. Ricky Henderson went to the A's. Uh, motherfucking, I don't know, Roger Clemens going to the Yankees. Anybody joined the Yankees in the late 90s, early 2000s? Jason Giambi when they went to the Yankees. Come on, man. Shit. I mean, it's on that type of level. Like, I don't know, bro. Uh, Peyton... I mean, if I ever see Peyton, I'm, I'm telling you that. I'm letting you know. Other other Niner fans, they're going to bring that up. I'll bring it up, though. I'll bring it up, Peyton. Cost us some Super Bowls because Kaepernick couldn't get the job done. And, I, uh, and I'm, I'm a fan of Cap, but call a spade a spade. He got worse every year. Damn, man. You could have had your own offense here. You could have joined Jim Harbaugh, the guy you replaced in Indy, you know, as an Indy quarterback. That could have been you, man. You could have been our quarterback. Could have been my quarterback. That's what T.O. said. Damn, man. I can't motherfucking believe that, though, man. But, hey, I'm, I'm just dishing it out, saying everything, unleashing it, unleashing all my knowledge and facts. Paid with the fuck. But, hey. You in the Hall of Fame, man. You cost us some rings. And you're still number four on my all-time list. So, I feel like drinking some red, red wine like this song that's on right now. But, yeah, y'all, hit the like and subscribe button, y'all, if you want to keep, you know, having me unleash y'all with knowledge and facts. Things that are true as ever. Hit that like and subscribe button. You know how I do. Pop your collar.